Well, after some time off getting the honeydew list caught up, after the month of working on this with Tim, I sat in the couch as long as I could and decided it's time to get out here and get with this a little bit. This is where I'd left off on the last projects. This area just bothered me. I kept changing my mind how I wanted it. This little piece here had to be put in. It was pretty tore up. This was the point of impact from where they would backed into something with the bumper. Got it all welded up. It's a nice thing rotisserie. Can get it where I need it. Here we got it weld shows it welded in. And the more I look at it, the less I like this corner. It's, it's kind of bulgy from the impact. I can't get in there. This little triangular panel on the end, it's kind of pushed in. And most importantly is the this corner. It's just wadded up and chewed up and just looks nasty. So I cut it out. Now with it cut out, I can get in here and see the wrinkled cheap metal from the inner trunk floor or side panel. And I can reach it better and do a little massaging on it. Ending, offending panel out and I've massaged this corner area and the lighting's not good it doesn't show up but this area it was kind of folded over on itself and all bulgy and now I got it nice and square so I feel much better about this corner I've made the replacement panel this is the first piece of the panel. But squared off nicely. See about getting it hung in there with a few clinkos. After looking at it, felt like I needed to check one more time to make sure it was reasonably square before I committed to the next step. Turns out it was. next piece of the panel is a flat piece and I curved to make it there in the corner I'm tacking it in a few places on this side and then I will fully weld it on both sides for the finished product
setting up here to weld the back side. The plan is to weld both sides. That way I can run my die grinder and flat grinders in the corner and make a nice radius on the uh, inside of the lip without worrying about grinding through. I've trimmed the panel pretty close to the final size and ground the back side as much as it needed. And here I'm working in that, make that nice fillet on the inside corner. Got it all fit into place. The old nasty one sitting there. Big thing I was after was I wanted a nice straight line coming off of that panel up to where the pinch weld is and nice squared off corners with the bottom of that uh, panel I made also nice and square. This will really look nice when it's all painted up. That's all for now. Catch you later.